Hey folks, Carl Kischel here, and welcome to this edition of the Microsoft Cloud News Update, researching the cloud blog so you don't have to. This week, we have a very short list of updates to share with you, but they're important nonetheless, including a new image builder service now available on Azure, turning your phone into an IoT device, hint, hint, you're going to need a small app. It's all good, it's a great feature. And last but not least, we'll cover some other items regarding credit-based disk bursting, a new version of Windows Server, and some unmanaged device protection capabilities with endpoint management. With that, let's jump into this week's update. The links to all the updates are found in the description window for this video. So first thing, streamlining your custom imaging process using a new service in Azure called the VM Image Builder Service. So this is a new service. Actually, it's uh, based on HashiCorp's uh, Packer product. Uh, they've been doing this for a long time. It's now integrated with Azure. And this is a pretty cool capability. And uh, the image building nomenclature here is a little bit uh, misleading because not only does it do image building, but it also helps you create and manage the whole workflow pipeline and process. So everything from creating the custom image to deploying and managing the image as well. Uh, this supports both Linux and Windows based images and definitely something to check out if you're into customizing and deploying and managing your own VM images in Azure. Coming into general availability, a new app, mobile app, that allows you to turn your phone into an IoT device. And this would work for both iOS and or Android devices. So this is a, an app that allows you to collect telemetry from your iOS or Android device and easily connect it into the Azure IoT plug and play service. Right now, this app is available on the App Store. So check it out if you're into IoT on Azure. Credit-based disk bursting is now generally available for Azure standard SSDs. So this is a pretty cool feature for some of the smaller Azure st um, standard SSDs that are found in Azure storage or Azure disks, I should say. And uh, typically in the past, if you wanted to burst uh, for IOPS support, um, you had to go to a, a different disk type. But here with this new credit-based disk bursting, you can burst to uh, small short times, uh, up to 30 minutes to handle unexpected disk traffic without having to go into a high performance uh, uh, disk storage. So definitely something that will save you a little bit of money regarding your Azure platform and disk usage. This is something that will be turned on by default. You don't have to worry about configuring this and uh, it's available right now. Windows Server 2022 Azure Edition is now publicly available for preview. So this is a special version, um, as you may be able to discern that, of Windows Server, uh, Windows Server 2022 Azure Edition. It's built specifically to run in the Azure IaaS environment or Azure Stack. You cannot run this in any other cloud platform or on bare metal. What's well, pretty cool. So this, uh, just like uh, Windows Server 2019 Azure Edition, it supports hot patching. So that's the ability to do patching with ha without having to do reboots. Um, in addition to that, you have some enhanced capability around security. So TLS 1.3 is supported by default. Um, enhanced memory support, additional support up to 48 terabytes. 64 sockets and 2048 logical processors, to name a few. There's also QUIC support uh, for uh, networking under the TCP protocol. So there is a link here, aka.ms, auto manage Windows Server. will give you all the details on how to download this preview in your Azure environment. And last but not least, we have uh, another general availability announcement regarding device protection and endpoint protection for unmanaged devices. This was previously under public preview. 
now has gone GA, and you can start taking advantage of this right now. If you're not familiar with unmanaged device support for Endpoint, this is the ability for um, Microsoft uh, Endpoint to identify unmanaged devices in your environment, specifically Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, to give you this capability of looking for unmanaged devices and signaling through the management console or other means that, hey, you have these devices that are not managed. Um, that obviously produces and creates a security issue, security risk, and uh, you do have the option of creating workflows and integrating those devices if they are supported with uh, Defender for Endpoint into your management system. So definitely check, check out the link for more info on how to take advantage of this new feature. That concludes this edition of the Microsoft Cloud News Update. If you like this session, please give me a thumbs up. I want to be kept informed on all of our updates. We do these about once a week. Hit the subscribe button. If you have any feedback or comments, drop something in the comment section. I review all the comments, take them seriously. Thank you for taking the time to do that. If you want to reach out to me directly, I can also be found on LinkedIn or Twitter at Carl Kischel. So with that, thank you so much for your time this week. Appreciate it. And we will catch you next time. Take care.